Congressman Mark Pocan stopped by today to take your calls for the hour. Middays with Mark. Here are a few excerpts. Check it out. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel and ding the bell. Kathy in Madison, Wisconsin. You're on the air with Congressman Pocan. Yeah. Um, hi, uh, Representative Pocan. I'm in your district. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. Um, I was really concerned, uh, especially in the beginning, about the behavior of some of these, you know, new folks that uh, got sworn in in January. The, um, you know, the freshman uh, Congress people. And um, what concerns me is some of them, on occasion, and I can't say all of them, uh, seem to be kind of showboating and putting themselves out there to be more, you know, high profile and. Sometimes, I, I don't know, I just get worried when, you know, like, for example, Omar, you know, going, saying what she did about Israel and causing a thing about that. Uh, AOC has done some things like that, and I really like her. I think she's got a great future. Um, I've just seen a few go off the rails like that, and I don't think that's going to get the Democrats where they need to go, which, in my opinion, means the top focus has to mean giving showing the Republicans the door in 2020, because we're not going to get anything done unless that happens. So whatever you think about that, I would appreciate hearing about. Yeah, Kathy, uh, thanks for your question. So uh, a couple of things. First of all, this is a bit of a new era that I'm not sure if we're all totally used to, which is the celebrity politician. And clearly, you know, when people have 3.9 million Twitter followers, that's more than Nancy Pelosi after decades. Uh, they have a big impact in a certain part of uh, the, the world. So um, in that sense, uh, that is something new we're working on. But I can tell you what's happened is the attacks from Republicans used to be on Nancy Pelosi. They try to make her the, the boogeyman of all issues. And since she is now speaker and they realized they weren't effective in that, they have now transferred to AOC, Ilhan uh, Omar, and uh, Rashida Tlaib, uh, three smart young women of color, uh, two happen to be Muslim, and pretty much everything they've told you to ever fear they're putting with those folks. So uh, Ilhan specifically, there's a comment they went after her just this week for that is totally taken out of context. And then they went after her for calling Stephen Miller a white nationalist. I did that too, but they're not going after me. They're going after Ilhan because she's the woman that they've said all these other lies about. So I think we have to be really careful. And I, I put out a tweet the other day trying to defend uh, and get the truth out there because they're so powerful at the misinformation that these are some very young, talented legislators who, um, while we do have to deal, deal with the celebrity politician phenomena, which, you know, is uh, a new phenomena, I think that, you know, they're, they're intelligent, very intelligent. They're, they're um, doing good, hard work that doesn't get reported on because they're doing all the sensational stuff that gets reported in, and going after by the Republicans. But, um, you know, AOC single-handedly has brought climate change to a national debate. Uh, Ilhan has single-handedly brought uh, much of the debate about uh, finally having some Muslim women in Congress and what that means, and we're watching the discrimination happen from Republicans. So I think we just have to make sure that we're not falling for some of the stuff they put out there because it's convenient to go after those three in particular. Um, but uh, also it's just a new era. You know, you have folks now, when you come into Congress with 3.9 million followers after someone like Nancy has uh, almost half of that after decades, it's just something we're all going to have to get used to.